And then we want to go into caddis flies. And in the last 10 or 12 years, uh, we're starting to realize that perhaps they are more important than mayflies after all because of the, the numbers that they occur in. When the fish see these things floating overhead, okay, it's a different profile that they're looking at. They range in size from very large to very small, just like mayflies do. And the color combinations are very similar to that of the mayflies, grays, browns, gingers or ambers. On the left is a fly called a Henryville Special. Very Adamsy in appearance. It's a very busy fly. Here's our parachute style again, and it's simply called a hare's ear parachute caddis. If you wanted to keep it simple, when it comes to caddis dry fly imitations, 12, 14, 16, olive, gray, and tan. That's it. That's all you need. You know, half a dozen flies and you've got caddis pretty well covered. Stone flies I'll spend even less time on because as adults they are not as important to the fish as are mayflies and caddis flies. And the reason is is that the fish have a hard time getting these things. Terrestrials to sort of polish off dry flies. As I said before, these are any insects that fall in the water by accident out of the vegetation that did not come from the water to begin with. The grasshopper is probably the most popular of all the terrestrials, especially from the fish's point of view. Crickets, same idea, just black. Inchworms, okay, little green worms, a little deer hair on a hook. The Jap needle, here's an imitation. And this is a series of ants, okay, little ant imitations, cinnamon, black, we even paint them like bees, even though they, they have the shape of vans. Anything goes here. For those of you that have ever encountered the hard fish to take out of the real slow moving tail out to the pool, put on one of these sometime and try it exclusively. Okay? You, a lot of your fish that won't fall for a traditional this, that, or the other thing will often fall for the more exacting uh, presentation with an ant. And then lastly, just a cornucopia shot, I call it, you know, Leaf hoppers, aphids, beetles, you name it, the fish will eat it if they can get their lips around it, if it falls in there. This is just scratching the surface when it comes to dry flies. Okay?